Geico Motorcycle, Buds Creek National, stop number 11 of the Lucas Oil Championships. The 450 class finished up with Eli Tomac taking the overall win with the 3-1. Ken Roxon finished in the number two spot with the 1-3. Marvin Muskin finished in the number three spot with the 2-4. The championship point battle looks like this. Eli Tomac now has 493 points. Marvin Muskin, 473 points. And Ken Roxon has 403 points. First question will have to be for uh, Eli Tomac. We've been looking at the, uh, the tracks this year. Last week was a complete mutter. This week the track was, we're calling for rain, but it was dry. What was your thoughts on uh, Bud's Creek this year? Yeah, it was a different Bud's Creek. Um, you know, normally this place is, you know, has big ruts around the whole track. And today it was like kind of a combo where it was uh, a lot of hard base. And then, um, you know, some of the hills were soft and would, and would pull you around. And then, uh, you know, other places was kind of in between. So, um, assuming that was they were expecting rain you know so it was a little bit drier a little bit different but uh it was a it was a decent racing surface you know you could you could make a couple passes here and there and then other spots you kind of had to follow but uh all in all it was it was pretty good next question will be for ken rocks and ken uh after moto one it looked like you had a, a opportunity for the overall today what happened in moto number two? Oh, just um i just ran out of gas towards the end for sure um i got a little ill like halfway through the through the week and definitely struggled with it this morning but I just, I try not to, um, I try not to, like, worry about it too much. And obviously, the hotter it was today, the kind of worse it was for me. But I just try to put everything out there as, as good as I can. And, um, yeah, and ended up with a second overall. I, I, I'm, I'm happy with the podium for this year, for sure. Marvin Muskin, moto number two. Uh, we're used to watching you put on late race charges like Eli. What was with moto number two about the halfway point? Yeah, you know, I had a really rough week, so, week, so I'm really glad uh, to be racing today, this weekend, and I uh, gave my best, and, uh, you know, I was uh, good enough for third overall, and, uh, you know, some good, good points, you know. I'd like to open it up now to questions from the media. All right. Uh, Marv, you said you had a rough week. I mean, it was a crash. What, what exactly was it? Yeah, yeah, on, on Tuesday, so uh, nothing special but you know it, it happens and uh so that's why i'm uh, i was i was here and uh you know it was actually a, a good good weekend i mean that first moto was actually pretty good you know um you know with, with kenny and uh the second moto was just um, you know not enough till the end so uh but uh yeah like i said uh, still on the podium you know and good points and eli talk about that second moto it seemed like something clicked for you i mean were you getting comfortable or i mean what exactly happened there at the end or the that's kind of middle yeah, that's what the way it was. Um, after the like Barsha and Baggett, they were going at it, and uh, once I got by those guys, that's when I I felt a lot better, like just getting clean air, because um, I was eating a lot of roost from those guys early on. So once I made those passes, it was just uh, it was I don't know something clicked. It was good. I mean, it was championship? Were you thinking that while you were sitting back there, or I mean, what was your kind of thought process? I guess. Oh, yeah, you know, and, and, you know, of course, I see Ken and, and Marvin out front. I'm like, this is just a replay of Moto 1. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I just, yeah, that was, that was the motivation. And, yeah, Ken, I guess, talk about how hard, I mean, the, I'm sure the heat didn't help sickness and all that. I mean, you looked great in the first Moto, even towards the end, and then yeah. was it just the heat and all that stuff? Yeah, I mean, it, it, was, it was warm out there like riding but you know when you're just standing there i mean we got lucky that it was at least cloudy yeah and it wasn't that bad i mean i don't know every rider kind of feels different about it too it just all depends how how tired you get you know if you're not too bad then you can kind of fight through it and, and it doesn't bother you that bad but um it was definitely one of the one of the warmer ones but we did we did get lucky that the sun was not just bashing on us the whole time and did you add a kick start this week i think i saw somewhere yeah there. we did yeah just um <clears throat> As of right now, that uh, we're we're gonna do a lot of work. We have a lot of stuff set up for after the last race, and um, obviously that's nations. But a bunch of testing and, and figuring some stuff out. But for right now, I felt more comfortable that way, and so it helped it helped me out this week for sure. Yeah, and you're back for destinations. Just talk about what like that's gonna feel like, and I don't think anyone's asked you about it. So. No, yeah, it's <clears throat> it's great. I uh, I was I think it's one of the funnest races out of the year. I mean, the only sucky part is kind of that. You know, we have the last race, and then we have pretty much five weeks off, and then the destinations, and obviously also um, it's the Monster Cup after. So if you do race destinations, everything is a little bit tight. But um, I mean, I haven't, I have skipped that stuff for the 
past few years just because of my injuries, but I'm really happy to be back there. And um, it's just an experience that, uh, you know, I try to get every, every single year and try not to miss it. And did you hear the fans, like you could tell the fans knew you were kind of going for the overall? And, yeah, for sure. The fans actually have been great, I feel like, all year. And I mean, maybe it has some to do with obviously being injured because I get a lot of good feedback from those guys. But every time we are, we're battling, you can definitely, I feel like I've noticed it more this year than ever before, really. Next question from the media. We'll get you out of here nice and quick then today. Gentlemen, uh, Eli, we asked Aaron Plessinger at the last part of the Tomac, have you, seen your, have you seen your motocross of nations bike and stuff yet? We saw the one Yamaha popped up with all of it. Have you seen your rendition of your bike yet? Uh, no, I haven't. So um, I'm still, still waiting for it, but uh, I'm sure they'll, they'll get it looking good. Ken, last question for you then. First moto over, that you've won. No help. This was heads up against the best in the game. And what that one feel like? I'm um, good. Obviously, Marvin and I there at one point, we were really close. And he almost had me a couple of times. But I put in my head because I think Oscar showed me like six laps to go. So I kind of tried to keep it steady. And then if he was going to be really close in the last two laps, I was going to put in another charge. Because I, I was like, man, if I'm this close to a moto win, I don't just want to like give it away again in the last two, three laps. So I was prepared to, to push towards the end. And then um, he gave me a uh, second to last lap or something. He gave me s six seconds ahead of Marvin. And I'm like, oh, he might have made a mistake. But I, I must have lapped somebody, and I heard a bike behind me, and I thought he was coming. So I was like, oh, God, I got to go, you know. But um, luckily, uh, it, wasn't, it wasn't Marvin. So, But all good. I mean, I was just stoked to get another, another moto win for sure. And the final question of the uh, conference will be for Marvin. One week to go, one more national to go. Is there anything that uh, you can do this week? Are you guys going to go back to Eldon's place and work on anything special? Yeah, I mean, I mean uh, it's going to be a short week. Uh, we have press uh, on Friday, I guess. So it's going to be a more mellow week and uh, less riding. Um, but yeah, it's been a very long season. You know, uh, when you look back at it, it's uh, Supercross and outdoors. It's a, it's a long championship. And uh, we did miss one, uh, one race. So uh, Looking forward to next weekend. Well, congratulations, gentlemen. Outstanding job today. Folks, that wraps up the press conference from Buds Creek, Maryland. We hope you all make the drive over to Crawfordsville, Indiana for round number 12 of the Lucas Oil Championships, and that'll be in one week. Have a safe drive home.